Hey friends, today we are going to be traveling from New York City to Japan to visit Tokyo for the first time. I am so excited. It has always been a dream of mine to travel the world and visit Asia and it's finally happening. I want to make a video and share all of my experiences with you, including the 14 hour direct flight, just in case you guys ever plan on visiting Japan yourself. So we're going to eat some food, discover a new country together and have a beautiful Tokyo kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I am currently in Hoboken, New Jersey, and we're gonna be flying out of Newark, but I wanted to show you the city before we start making our way to the airport. Also, I wanna grab some coffee. We're gonna be doing the direct flight, 14 hours straight to Japan. No stops, no layovers. We're going straight to Tokyo. I'm very lucky to be going to Japan with some really great friends of mine from the Roosevelt's team. Steven and Scotty are going to be joining up with me and we're going to have the best time ever. We're not just doing Tokyo, we're going to do Osaka, we're going to check out the cherry blossoms and we're just going to experience everything, the culture, the food and Disney Sea and Tokyo Disneyland and Universal Studios Japan like we have so many things but today it's just about the travel it's about getting there and uh, I'm gonna try to describe and bring you guys and show you everything I go through all right I am all packed up I got my passport I normally travel pretty light uh, but this time I'm just bringing a carry-on and a backpack for uh, my over a week trip to Japan only because I want to be able to bring stuff back and have the option to pick up a bag if I need to and then also it's easier not to carry sundries with you when you go through customs especially since I'm bald you know what I mean I don't need shampoo or anything like that I can just pick up travel size things once I get to Japan and look at the view I'm probably going to take this vlog right to where we land and check into the hotel in Tokyo so I can show you but I got to check out of this hotel first what a view of the city isn't that amazing I can't believe we're going from New York City to Tokyo all right now that we have our bags packed up it's time to head to the airport and I want to show you around the airport a little bit because we got uh, our seats they're the United Premium Plus like I said they're like five thousand dollars they have like a first class like a little dome that you sleep in and those were going for like ten grand uh, just to go to Tokyo uh, but with that you get some perks like with our Premium Plus it's not first class it's not economy it's in between they lay down there's only two of them so I'm sitting next to Scotty and it's really cozy but you get like uh, skip the line pass at the security, a special little lounge that has some snacks on it before the flight. And I figured I'd show you like some of the amenities. It looks like there's not a line to actually get through security. So we're a little bit early. Well, an hour and a half early. You're supposed to get here two hours early. We're gonna make our way up to the United Club. I've never been in one of these fancy clubs before. Look at this. It's like a little pre like flight lounge you just scan your boarding pass and you get to go in i think they have snacks they have a buffet here i was about to eat cereal <laughs> and they got shower suites you can take a shower before your flight wow i was not expecting a golden corral in the airport this is pretty impressive here and they got a lot of food lots of drinks too coca-cola freestyle this is all free this is all free? I'm gonna drink some milk. Right in the airport, look at this. We got coffee cake, bran muffins, we got burritos, egg McMuffins, some bagel sandwiches, a little bit of everything. It's just grab and go. You want an egg McMuffin? Nope. <laughs> look at this. Oh wow, they got more over here. Holy moly. Orange juice, apple spice oatmeal, what? We got bread, oh, they got potatoes. Potatoes, sausage. This is impressive. The coffee cake in the United Club is actually amazing. And I got the potatoes too. I like potatoes. I don't want to eat a lot of food because they're going to be serving food on the flight. And plus, I don't want to be sitting on a 14-hour flight with a full stomach or a bad belly. Oh, man, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Oh, man. I don't want to imagine. <laughs> Think about that. Oh, God, here comes the thing. Do you see that robot? All right, you boys ready to go to Japan? I think so, yeah. <laughs> We're going. Yeah, pretty ready. Look at this. We even get a ride to the uh, terminal. 
Yo, this is great. <laughs> this has never happened to me before. <laughs> Just driving around the airport. Hi, how are you? They see me rolling. They hating. Patrolling and trying to catch me riding dirty. I saw Nick Jonas. <laughs> this is amazing. I love this. Yo, this is the best airport ever. Yo, is this our gate right here? Wow. That is service at its best. I already go to bed within the first like three hours. This is a big plane. 20, 22. Yeah. Oh, look at the champagne back there. I honestly think this is the biggest plane I think I've been on. This is a big, big plane. Look at our little seat here. Yeah, we got a blanket. Pillow. Pillow. What's in this bag? We'll find out. Oh, you get nice cans. Oh, and little foot pedals. Dim the window. You can dim the what? Oh, I see it. Wow, that's kind of cool. I like it. Look at that. Got a TV. You get to customize your experience. 14 hours, Scotty. I'm glad we got the foot pedal, too. I feel like I'm driving. Oh, did you see the uh, reclining buttons on this side? The reclining buttons? Or it might be on this side. Oh. 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 Well, I got to put that bad boy up. Oh. There we go. All right, this is cozy. I can do it. I like it. <laughs> Time to see what's in our special little bag here. Inside the bag, you got a nice little face mask. Ooh, what else you got in here? Earplugs. Let's see. Your wellness journey starts here. I don't know what I'm looking at. It looks like a face mask. Oh, it's a Tolouette. Oh, that's nice. Oh, actually, it's a whole package. Look at that. A Tolouette lip balm and hand cream all together. Fancy. What else we got? Soft tissues. I feel a little bad because Steve is actually on the other side of the plane. He's like another row over. Me and Scotty at least get to sit together. But I think Steve is like over there. There he is. Hi, Steve. They have like a little schedule. So we depart. Then meal service, lights out, light snack, lights on, meal service, and arrival. Look at that. Kind of makes it easy. I really hope the internet works on the flight. Can you imagine 14 hours without internet? Yeah. That'd be rough. That'd be a rough one. But we do have the movies at least. They're free. And they just stream right there. So at least we, like it's not like we're going to be sitting here in silence and then we got food. So a lot of good snacks. I like on the plane they have an interactive map and it's cool that we're going from here all the way across the United States and going all the way on the other side of the world. Beef short ribs? Uh -huh. Wow, that sounds nice. Oh, we got a little tree that pops open. Wow. It's like a transformer. Alrighty. You said there was pasta, right? Yeah. The pasta. Tortellini. Yeah. This looks good. Because I know if I eat beef, uh, Comes on a mint chip cookie crumb cake. Oh, that tortellini looks good too. Do you want my salad? Oh, that looks good too. Look at that. Fancy. Honestly, this food looks pretty good. Thank you. Especially those potatoes there. And your tortellini looks pretty good. Got a little dinner roll, some ginger ale. Time to, time to eat. I'm excited to try this. trying to figure out what's on on this like what's that white stuff 
this short rib is definitely the best food I've ever had on a flight. I love it. I think it's so good, and I love the little carrots, too. Look at little tiny baby carrots and a frozen dinner roll. The blanket they give you is actually from Saks Fifth Avenue, and it's a limited edition blanket. I don't know if I want to use it. Maybe I want to save it and carry it around Japan with me and then bring it back to the States as a little keepsake. Fancy. I had to take a quick bathroom break and uh, switch over into something a little more comfortable because it's going to be lights out soon. Uh, but this is a very nice bathroom. Lots of space, lots of room for like activities. Look at this in here. Plenty of room. I can move around. I can do a 360 spin. Look at that. And of course, the toilet. I just woke up and we got some breakfast, a little bread pudding, a croissant, and uh, we're almost there. Look at that, only an hour to go. 58 minutes. Wow. I took a nice little nap though. Nice little nap. I got a little probably about two hours, maybe two or three hours in. That's all you need. Sorry. How was your flight? It was good. Feeling good? Yeah. All right, arrivals, baggage claim. We just got off the plane and we landed in Narita International Airport. There's two airports in Tokyo. One of them's a lot closer to uh, Tokyo Disneyland, but this one's a little bit cheaper. So we got to go through a health screening. We have to go through immigration and then we got to go through customs, which all those papers on the plane we had to fill out. And then we have to hop in Uber and it's about an hour about an hour drive and everything transitions over like so uber just picks up the way it was same thing with uh, your bank if you call them and your cell phone you have to switch to an international plan and then we're going to go to the hotel and uh you know i'll show you guys around but first we have to get through all that and i can't film it so uh we'll just skip over it and i'll talk about it at the end of the video i like that the the signs are also in english too yeah yo look at that welcome to japan <laughs> I think we're coming up on uh, customs here. We just got through customs and immigration, and now we're going to grab a little taxi to actually uh, make our way to the hotel to check in. They actually have taxis right on the outside here. Look at this. Kind of looks really nice and fancy. The airport was pretty easy. We'll talk about it later on. This feels strange. I'm used to driving on this side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the steering wheel's on that side. Get some breeze. Anybody need a window open? It was a long, but it wasn't like, difficult. Okay, right, we did it. Wow, it's so nice out. The weather's beautiful. There it is, Tokyo Disney Resort. We're here. <laughs> Wow, I can see it. it. looks so beautiful. Wow, look at that. Are we here? Yeah, we're here. That's it. Magic Kingdom's behind this. Woo! <laughs> wow, the outside looks like a palace almost. The Uber drive over to the uh, Disneyland, well, the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel was just about an hour, so it wasn't that bad. We're not going to be able to go to the parks today because we're getting in so late, and plus, I'm exhausted. Like, I'm pretty... Uh, 14 hours on a plane, it can get the best of you. So I'm going to go up, I'm going to show you the room, get all settled in, and then probably call it a night from there. This resort... Right out front, they have a nice little Mickey uh, Fantasia fountain right here. And then, look at the hidden Mickey in the uh, topiary there. Isn't this so beautiful? And then here's the resort itself. It's massive. It gives me the Grand Floridian vibes. So I'm going to go in and we'll give you guys a little peek -see inside the uh, lobby there and then up to the room. Here is the lobby. As soon as you walk in, they have some nice statues of Mickey and Minnie. Right here and here. The floor, like I said, it reminds me of the Grand Floridian a little bit. It's got a very glorious like fountain in the center. Wow. That looks like a hit of Mickey too. The elevator, the carousel. 
And like I said, one of the cool things is, is you can see Tokyo uh, Disneyland from here. They have a smoking lounge inside the hotel where you can actually come and sit down in a nice little lounge and smoke cigarettes and vapes. I've never seen one inside of a hotel still. That's kind of crazy. Look at that. They have ashtrays in there. I mean, just sitting there and smoke. And then right next to it, they have the Marceline Saloon. It's kind of like a club level. And you get to stay here if uh, you get to go in here if you're staying in one of the suites. We're just waiting for our room to be ready. Check-in is at 4 p.m. Uh, and then we'll probably maybe go to the park for a little bit and then explore Tokyo a little bit. But I kind of want to browse around the hotel a little bit. Show you around, give you a tour. Inside the Marceline Saloon, they have some light refreshments, but they have tons of pictures of Walt and Roy when they made their way back to Marceline. Look at this. This is in Marceline, Missouri, Walt and Roy's hometown. And me and Sean, my friend Sean, actually visited there. I remember seeing that picture. Look at this. And then, like I said, they have light snacks, kind of like a club level. Oh, man, I love it in here. You can get some gummy bears over here. A chocolate daisy duck marshmallow or Mickey one. Chocolate gold coins. A lot of really cool things. Oh, I want to take that with me. <laughs> And then uh, red wine, oh, white wine, iced coffee, iced tea, orange juice, apple juice. It's a very cozy area. You can sit here and stare out at all the people going in and out of uh, Disneyland. We're using a translation app. For the 5,000, it's orange juice or apple juice, scrambled eggs, plain omelet. Uh, oh, this is the menu for breakfast yeah, on Tuesday? Yeah, uh, the 3,000. <laughs> We're <laughs> can't even plan like five minutes in front of you, let alone Tuesday. <laughs> we'll go, we should go at the 5,000. Let's just go. Because that's the 3,000 yeah. is the child. So. Yeah, let's do the five. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah is so the we'll, we'll do the, uh, the 5,000. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I'll do uh, one apple. Okay, juice. what else you got on there? The school yeah. lens, the translate app helps a lot. Scrambled eggs or plain omelet? Scrambled eggs for me. I just want some French toast. Okay. <laughs> What is that from? I know that. <laughs> we kind of joined up on a vacation package, and I'll show you all of the vouchers. Uh, but now we have to set up our breakfast reservation for uh, morning, and then it is French toast. <laughs> Look at this! I can't wait to see this room. Is that Mickey talking? It is Mickey talking. We just got up to the room and uh, I'm going to give you a quick room tour and this is the Magic Kingdom suite and uh, I'm excited. I think we did make a mistake uh, and booked one room for three people instead of three rooms. So we have to figure out another room eventually, but this is just really nice. We can all stay here actually. As soon as you walk in, they have a nice picture of Mickey and Minnie right here. And then look at this. Look at this entrance way. A beautiful mirror. Nice little closet, some slippers. We all need some slippers. I love that. All of that, another bathroom over here. Very, very nice. I like all of it in here. Yo, what's up with that toilet? I don't, oh, this is interesting. This is really interesting. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's going on in here. Huh? Is that an instruction manual? Oh, it's a sanitary bag. Oh, it's a nice little bathroom. Yeah. Then they got some tea here. Look at that. I'm assuming a little mini fridge. And look at this little, look at this little living room. Look at this, they have a little tea set out here. And look at the view. You can see Cinderella Castle, Space Mountain. You can see everything in here. Wow. This is an amazing room here. Look at that out there. Over here, you have the main bedroom, a little work area, some shirts, <laughs> a nice little day bed. I like this day bed. Look at this in here. It'll be a night bed later. <laughs> It'll be a night bed later. I can't wait to see what these pajamas look like on me. They're a medium though. They're large. Oh. Oh, you get pants? Pants? 
Yo, this is so cozy. Look at this. This is the Grand Florin. This is like the, the Dell right here in San Diego. This is so cool. I love everything in here. And you can hear the music from the whole, uh, from the park, from the, the room. Look at this bathroom in here. Holy moly, there's a heart-shaped uh, tub. Beautiful, like, little tile work. A nice little shower. And look at the amenities. Look at this. I love this. That is too cool. All of it, even these little cups. Oh, is there a TV in the mirror? I'm definitely gonna take home some of these little uh, uh, vanity kits, M amenity kit, vanity kits. I don't know if this, oh, molten brown shampoo. See, this is why I didn't pack anything. I got all the good stuff right here. Literally, that's top notch stuff. And I still gotta figure out what this remote's for. Like, I feel like there's a TV in here somewhere. I just don't, oh, I found it. It's in here. It's in the jacuzzi. I'm definitely getting that later. <laughs> I just thought somebody was talking to me, but the TV just turned on. <laughs> we ended up getting a vacation package, and it comes with a lot of stuff. Like, it's, it's pretty amazing. Here, I don't think you can buy tickets day of. Like, you have to pre-book things, and that's even with your lightning lanes, too. Like, not lightning lanes, your attractions. They actually give you kind of like an artillery. And uh, here are our park tickets. And then here are... Looks like, uh, these are goods vouchers. A mixture of beverages. And then these are attraction tickets. So this gets you, like, see each one of these are like a lightning lane. I'll try to show you. Actually, I'm gonna move the camera so I can show you. So like, for instance, on, uh, it looks like March 17th, we can go ride the Tower of Terror. I don't know if it says a time. It doesn't have a time, just any day. We can literally just go show these and skip the line, I think. Oh, and they even have the happy ride with the Baymax. I've been wanting to ride that. It's a very popular ride over here, and it's just like kind of alien swirling saucer. What else they got here? So many things. It's very difficult trying to figure out what you're supposed to do with certain things, only because I'm used to the way that Disney and Walt Disney World and Disneyland does things. But I kind of like this. It looks nice. Tokyo Disney Vacation Packages. Packages. Now that we're all checked into the hotel, we're not going to start the Disney days until tomorrow. Right now, we're going to head out and explore a little bit of Tokyo and maybe get something to eat. You know, kind of just like go around and explore. It's a very big city and uh, I'm excited. Like, I'm excited to try some of the food. I want to go to a 7-Eleven. I want to go to a Lawson. And I want to explore the back alleys a little bit. But just a little bit tonight because we just got here, got off a 14-hour flight. So I'm starting to feel it a little bit. But I'm trying to force myself to stay awake so I can get on the time schedule appropriately. As shocking as it is, one of the things I've wanted to do uh, since I knew I was coming to Tokyo was come to a 7-Eleven. <laughs> Just because they have so many unique things. Like, look at all this food in here. We're looking at it like they just have chicken breast. And you just get a salad chicken with herbs. And then, what else do they have? They have like so many unique things. What do you got there? What is that? Is that paste? Uh, it just says it's soft and easy to use. Soft and easy to use. I want something else. Maybe like some sausages? Um, Daddy, would you like some sausage? I have a question. What about this uh, nice seasoned piece of chicken? I looked at that one already. I thought about this one's. This one is uh, beef with burdock. Beef with burdock. Beef with burdocks? Yeah. It's very interesting. They have spaghetti and pasta. This is a 7-Eleven. Look at this. All the food in here. And all the drinks. They even have monsters, but the cans are smaller, which is good. And the yen, 213. Very interesting being in a 7-Eleven for the first time in Tokyo. It's a complete different experience. The buildings here are so big. It's almost like we're in New York City, I feel like. That's not the building you were talking about no, before, right? That's pretty impressive. So are we going to, where are we going, Golden Boy? Yep. Golden Boy. Let's go to Golden Boy. <laughs> Golden Guy. Oh, Golden Guy? Oh. Golden Guy. Say 
Should we go? Golden boy. Stay golden, pony boy. Ah, you know where I was going. <laughs> We're just exploring around the different alleyways. Look at this down here. Trying to find anything that's kind of standing out to us. They have a lot of different bars. Honestly, it's just like picking one. Yeah. There's a desert inn. Where is that? Right there in front of us. Yeah, desert inn right there. And a ghetto sun troy. Look at these bars. I know, right? I like that Coca-Cola sign. The area that we are at is called Golden Guy, and it's a bunch of little shops, bars, and local like eateries. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna roam around and you know find places that we think are interesting. Not a long night because we had that 14-hour flight, so it's probably gonna be a short night, and then we're gonna go home and call it a night. Hair of the dog. You said that before, didn't you? Cigarettes, art, and plink. Oh, punk, plink. I don't know what's up there. Alley nuts. This looks cool. A hole in the wall. Name? Name yeah. Gordon Basco. <laughs> 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 there it is. Thank you. Good pour too. Great pour. Thank you. Super dry. <laughs> this is crazy, guys. <laughs> We're doing it. This is my new favorite bar. I love this bar. It's it's literally the hole in the wall. <laughs> No, like actually, it's, <laughs> that's it's like the a street of small bars. This is the smallest. <laughs> oh wow! Here we go. I'm probably not gonna have any of this food. It's uh, some bean sprouts. I think we're gonna get one more drink or one more stop here at uh, dinner. Five gallons. A lot of these places are really funny because it's. Kind of like a steep climb. <laughs> the ceiling right there. Interesting, right? Woof. <laughs> just a tip? Just, oh yeah, just a little tip of the head there. The biggest line on the earth. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh. I'll take that. <laughs> oh, look at these guys in there. Oh boy. So, come by. Only like, oh, it is good. It's it's honestly like fireball, right? But even better. I can't believe I just drank that. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm calling it quits here. <laughs> I'm pretty tired and uh, yeah, we're gonna pick it up tomorrow because guess what? We're going to Tokyo Disneyland. I am so excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I like making little travel vlogs sometimes when I go to some places nice because that's one of my biggest concerns is the travel. I mean, I'm very just go with the flow of things, but uh, I like to kind of make videos to document it. I don't know, it's kind of fun. Maybe I'll do a, a couple more travel videos in the future. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and uh, we're in Japan! I'll see you guys at Disneyland tomorrow. Bye! <laughs> I feel confident I figured out how to use the toilet. First of all, you have to use your hand to open it, and then you can do this one too, and open that one. The seats are totally heated. That back there is the flusher, I think, unless this one is. Oh, that's the flusher right here. And then I think this is the bidet. You hit that button, you turn that over, and it's all good to go.
that's pretty fancy. And then when you're done, you just hit the button and then it shuts automatically. Tell me that's not the coolest toilet ever. I love this.